food in my mouth. You sure you ain't got the mumps? No, I don't have the mumps, and I'm not in your jaw. <laughs> in your neck. Picking out already, and we didn't even start it. Well, it ain't even done. I got something else I want to try, and they're very good. And that's a. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I'm going to do some zucchini and blueberry bread, or blueberry and zucchini bread, however you choose to say it, and we'll be fine. Oh. There's a couple of rules with the blueberries, so I'll just wait till I get to them, and then I'll tell them. Okay, let's get started. First, can, I, wait, can I ask, interrupt just one, real quick, and I'll try not to do it no more. Zucchini blueberry bread. Okay, because I didn't know if it was two different types of bread, zucchini and blue bread, <laughs> or if it was both put together. I'll say that again because I knew you was going to ask that. You do it every time. All right, I'm done. Go ahead. You done? Okay. Okay, I got a half a cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. I'm using my little pot today, my little mixer today. And then we're going to come in there with a half a cup of oil. Now I use oil instead of butter because honestly the oil lets it remain more moist than the butter does. That's my opinion. What kind of oil is it? Vegetable oil. You could use canola or vegetable. I wouldn't use um, like hundred percent vegetable or something. Yes, I started use the canola oil, but I just stuck with what I know. <laughs> okay, and two teaspoons of vanilla. You can put just one, but I like vanilla. Okay, now let's get her going here. That's all you gonna put in there for now. You need to let that mix up until it's smooth. We need two like one hooked over here somewhere. Else. So um, we've got to get that until it's smooth. We put some dirty dishes in there. That shouldn't take but a minute just to mix that up. Okay, do you want to come back just in a minute or you have something to say? Yes. Just come back in a minute? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs in there, too. i got two large eggs. If you only have small, we use three. And if you make this, you might already use three, but I'm putting two. Okay. And then I'm going to put in my cinnamon, which is two teaspoons. I got... And what's the other part? A quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a... Um, I think it's a half a teaspoon of salt. It's hard to remember whenever you don't make it every day. Let me look, because I want to tell you correct, so let me look real quick. It is, it is one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Two teaspoons of vanilla. It actually only called for one teaspoon of um Vanilla, but I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to put all this in here. And then I'm going to turn it on, and I'm just going to add the flour like that, okay? I'm going to add a little bit. It's just a cup and a half of flour for this recipe. I love this thing right here. My little buttons is broke, but I got both pieces, and I glued them and put them back on. They broke again, but I'm going to get some of that monster glue or gorilla glue or whatever it is. Oh, you didn't tell me about that. Maybe I could have fixed it for you. See how smooth that is? I could put some uh, JB Weld or something on it. Let well, me it's, it slips on there after you glue the two pieces together. Now, this is going to be real thick, but I'm going to tell you something. Once but, uh, you add the zucchini, do not... Do not mash that zucchini and squeeze the water out because you're going to need the moisture for this. That looks awful smooth already. Yeah, but it's thick. So I've got zucchini and blueberries to add. There's a couple rules to the blueberries. Okay. 
Look there, I made a mess even in here. I make a mess every time I cook anything. Doesn't matter, whatever it is, I make a mess. Well, that means you're doing a good job. <laughs> So I'm gonna put the zucchini in there. Let me see that. Hold on a second. I thought that That's was That's two cups of grated zucchini. I know, see? but I want to see what it looks like. Looks like grated zucchini. <laughs> I know, but it kind of looks like um like that um hash rounds you make or whatever you call it, hash brown or whatever. You know, potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Hash brown. Hash brown, that's it. All right, I've got two cups of grated zucchini. Don't squeeze the juice out of it. It'll be good moisture for this. That's and actually... there's a hair on my arm. Oh yeah, I see it right there. Ooh, it tickles. Now I'm mixing them in on slow. I, you know, I guess it's okay for whatever speed, but it doesn't have to go flying out of bowl. I'm silly, huh? It don't have to fly out of bowl. Actually, it smells good already and ain't even nothing cooking. Oh, I know I love the brown sugars and the cinnamon and the uh, uh, vanilla. All oh, of that is so good together. This is a good recipe. And no, if it's your first time uh, maybe going to make this, you don't peel the zucchini and you don't use those big seeds. Cut them out. But wash the zucchini and grate it. Don't squeeze the water out of it. So take the seeds out of the zucchini. Mm -hmm. Did you save those? No, actually, that's what I was going to show you. I went ahead and used a lot of this because some of it I didn't, but some of it I did. When it's down our closer, you see them seeds? That's really soft. They didn't form yet, so. It's like a cucumber, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like a cucumber, but um, what I've done, I just kept out to show you. I went ahead and used some of the seeds. I just cut a little yeah. bit of it off. Not so, all in other of words, it. they're not really ready. If they're big, don't use them because it wouldn't be too good. <laughs> 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 Why'd I do that? I don't know. I'm sure nobody else does. We almost had the makings of a Lucy Ricardo show there for a minute. <laughs> I know. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> That's funny. Well, it don't look too pretty, but it kind of has a good smell to it already. We'll do a spice cake next. Maybe. Um, tell everybody we're, we're sorry. Jesus don't sell at Kroger. We haven't got no shows out and everything. Everything. I've had a lot of bad medical going on. I couldn't use my hands, and I couldn't hardly stand in here long enough to do dishes. And you've been running up to your mom's a lot, trying to help them out a little bit, and I've been trying to work. I don't really go up there very often. Well, I know, but you've still really. been running up. Not, you know, not really, but... I'm taking that off because I'm going to fold those blueberries in. But we just... Now, we got some stuff, before you do anything, that's on the works. Um, your green beans, we've yeah, already... Yeah, I got the green beans and tomato one on Yeah, we got the green beans that you're in the garden and, and doing some canning. Is that correct? Well, that ain't thick at all, I don't think. Is that did I forget something? Have, I don't think I did. And we're going to do some sweet potatoes. Okay, now on these blueberries, you can use fresh or frozen. I'm using fresh. Let me have one for you. Dump them With in frozen blueberries, if you use frozen, that's fine. But use them before they thaw. Because if you don't, the juices will be there and it's going to color your whole batter purple. Also, don't mix them in with a mixer. You do that, they're going to be the same situation. <coughs> And you just fold them in. Another reason that you fold them in like this is because in the mixer and stuff like that, or if you beat it, it's going to go to the bottom. When you fold them in nice and slow like that, or easy, I mean, they won't go to the bottom. Oh. Just be sitting on the bottom. Now, i got my oven on 350. And I'm using a... Um, I think that's a nine by four. What was that? Or nine by five. The oven is ready. What you got some grease down in it too, or? Yes, I sprayed it. Greasy pan. I didn't know. Most the oven of the time when like you that. bake, you do grease your pan. Most of the time when you bake. Well, somebody might not know that, like me. You'll use a toothpick to check it. 
And don't take it out of the pan until it cools. It does better if it's a little cool. And um, let me see what else. Check it with the toothpick. And this pan right here, if you use a smaller pan, I'm thinking it's 55 to 65 minutes. With this pan, it's 50 to 60 minutes. And it'll probably make a dome. Get a dome in the middle, which is fine. <coughs> well, my oven's ready, David, so we'll be right back. Get, get this thing to cooking, and we'll be back in a minute. How long was you going to leave it in there? Did you need hearing aids? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I just told you, with the smaller pan, you have 55 to 65 oh, minutes. Yeah, with did this one, that. it's yeah. 50 to 60. You just now heard it yeah. in the back of your mouth. <laughs> well, the teacher said I was ATD or something like that when I was a kid. But you'd also but, do that whenever I'm like, when I tell them what I'm going to make, and you say, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. And our people will tell you, uh-huh. Anyway, let me tell you, I'm just not trying to complain about or keep it going, but then my back, my back's been injected, I think, three times in the last four months, and it's still problems. It's the lower sciatic and the and my spine, so I had to do another <coughs> MRI, and I hate those things, but they helped me get through it this time. Yeah, it was it was pretty good for you this time. Yeah, I was sedated this time. I just can't do it. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Call me a baby. Call me whatever. I still can't do it. It doesn't matter. Isn't that beautiful? Uh -huh. Tell them how you uh, how you check the stove and see if whether it's on or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't thinking, David, and I was tired, and I come in here, and I turned the stove out on. Look, when I'm cleaning these, look how easy it takes to unplug real easy. Uh-huh. Well, it's down in the pan. i got to raise that up and clean again. Well, that was on, but this wasn't lit up. And I'm like, just let me check it. And I went like that. I didn't mean to get close. I got too close that quick. Uh -huh. I, I was going to sit, so I sit something over here and I just was going to check it real quick and just got too close. I misjudged it. Burnt your hand pretty good. Yeah, but guess what? That I, was a couple weeks ago. I sit on, last weekend, I sit on the couch with, um. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad now. Frozen still, meat. And you can still see a little bit right here. And, yeah, that and still comes, hurts a little bit. I mean, yeah, just it's tender. It. You had these, like, orange stripes across your hand. <laughs> yeah, where I seared it like yeah. a steak. Yeah, I was like... That hurt so bad, I just felt like crying. I thought, what a stupid thing. I know there's other ways to check it if it ain't red, but it comes... When I clean, like I said, it comes unplugged real easy, and I'm a stupid by doing that. It burnt my hand. I bet you won't do that no more. Lesson learned. <laughs> yeah, you scared the crap out of me. I'm like, David, come here. Ooh. And I'm like, David, really, come here. I got hurt. What happened? I said, would you come here? I came here. And I was running the cold water over it then. I sit there with um, a pack of veggie burger, my hand hugging that thing all night long. And it, and it started to blister, and then it went right on down. Took the burn right out of it. I'm convinced ice does it. Ice well, works. I thought it was going to turn out a lot worse, but I'm glad it didn't. Me too. So don't is never. Worser, is worse or a so, bird? Huh? Well, is whatever. Worse or a yeah, I just invented it. No, so, you didn't just invent it because you use it all the time. <laughs> so I have, I have to put a patenting on it. But uh, never, got, when you got your stove on and if it ain't red, don't go like that to check it. I just thought it come unplugged and I didn't mean to hit it, but it was just quick reflexes, I reckon. But anyway, it's not done, did and over with. I have learned a lesson. I will never check it like that again. As a matter of fact, I'll just put the water on it or whatever, but it will not be with my hand. Don't stand back there grinning like a possum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating crow, right? He's making me eat crow right now, but that's all right. I'll get you back. I know. Somehow. It's all fun. I, I know you get me back. I ain't worried about that part. <laughs> but you never You'll get me back 20 times over. Uh, that ain't going to happen. I'm lucky to get one. <clears throat> He runs that tongue of his too much. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting the COVID again. That's what you keep saying for the last month now. No, for the last couple weeks. You need weeks. to go have your throat checked. That tells me something. <clears throat> hey, I, get him to call the doctor. I was going to call. No, I'll do it. I was going to get him to call the doctor. See, me and him don't go to the same doctor. So anyhow, I called. He called the doctor. They made an appointment for some time next month. And guess what? It's, his heart is the reason why I wanted the appointment. And I'm like, you're getting a physical? You well, 
They're kind of backed up. We have to do the best we can. They're not backed up. You didn't tell them. They got <coughs> food for people that. So he might croak on me, y'all. I hope nah. you don't. Well, if I do, I. Got it's been a, good, huh? Or been real, huh? Yeah, I got a good it can in, either be insurance real policy or good for you. Or real good, right? You can. It can either be real or good, or real good. So which one's yours? You can take the insurance policy and fix up this old junky kitchen or something with it. Whole house. <laughs> well, it needs work, okay. and he's working on it slowly, but surely. Hopefully, when I retire, we'll get everything all fancied up. If I'm still able to move. Every day he hires. I don't know. I ain't gonna be able to do this. You know how men are. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them do real good. I've you done know, good you, all the years, all the way up to just like the last two years. Now I feel like I'm falling <laughs> apart. But normally, if a man is a carpenter, he'll never fix the house. If he's a lot of mechanic, yours is falling apart. That's usually the way it is. Not always. But, He's not a carpenter. He he fixes cars, but he can't fix mine because of all the sensors and stuff. I can fix yours. You can. Yeah. I know it's a stick of dynamite. <laughs> take it down to the scrap yard. Run it in the river. Cut the catalytic converters off of it. Oh, we got bad problems uh, at work. People stealing catalytic converters off the trucks and stuff. It's and inside. they got a fence. Yeah. It's locked gates and all. Yeah. How are they getting in there? I guess through that I don't Virginia know. creeper. I don't know. I'm sure well, I think I snake bit. But anyway, we'll be back as soon as this thing's done, y'all. All right, we're going to take it out and check it. I know one thing, it sure does smell good. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Your glasses fogged up. They do every time. Look how pretty that is. It does smell great. i got to check it to see before I turn the stove off. Clean. She's done. So what What do you? What did you just do here? Stuck a toothpick down in it. Came back clean. In other words, nothing stuck to it? Nothing stuck to it. Oh. Okay, so that's what that means then. You see my blueberries are everywhere. They're not at the bottom. That's what you just fold them in easy before you put them in the oven. Mm, that does smell good. <clears throat> All right, so what you want to do, wait to cool Is down? Is this the clean one? Yeah. Well, it's not. Here, let me have it's it. that one. That's the one you just used. No, there it is. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Right there it is. Okay. This one's still clean. That one isn't. Okie dokie. You sure? Here, you can have it. Okay, we've got to let this cool a little bit before we take it out of the pan. You have to let it set for a few minutes. So, I'm going to... You poking me with the toothpick ding dong? We like it on the wrestling on Friday nights. It's Bailey that wrestles. She comes like, ding dong! <laughs> Don't we have to like about her? Ding dong, it's her show, ding dong. All right, so we'll let it so cool. We'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to let it cool, and then we can take it out and cut it, or, or take a piece out or two or whatever. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we'll see if I can get around the pan. I'll let her cool. How long has it been cooling for I, about? I went around the edges with a knife. So it's probably been cooled about 30 minutes, maybe? Nah, not that long. But you need to let it cool good, and it'll... Come out of I started to cut it and I thought, what am I doing? I gotta take it out of the pan first. Look how pretty it came out good, didn't it? <laughs> it does look good. Sure did fill the house for a nice smell. Oh my gracious, didn't it? Look how beautiful. Wow. Well, Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. Mm. It's good too. It's not only pretty, but it's pretty good. I get to taste the good stuff for you. Sure. Mm, you want the end piece? Don't matter. Don't matter to me either. Some people don't like the end piece. It right, don't make no difference to me. Well, you don't have to blow it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gracious, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is so good. I mm -hmm. hope y'all will try this. And don't forget about your blueberries. You can use frozen, but use them while they're frozen. And don't squeeze the zucchini to get the water out because you need the moisture. Uh, anything else? Huh? Don't squeeze the zucchini. <coughs> use the blueberries while they're frozen. And, and only 
just mix them in easy. Don't put them in the mix or anything. The blueberries, just fold mm. them in easy. I sure will. And you good. see, you'll have blueberries all the way through. You haven't done that in a long, long time either. Mm-mm. Top time. I meant to be doing this on one of my fall videos. I'm going to make, uh, I feel like beef stew to go. Well, like I was saying earlier, we got, I got a lot uh, of stuff. cannon tomatoes, got a little bit of that. We got to put up uh, the uh, sweet potatoes. We're going to be digging them up. And you're going to do something with them, a pie or something. Mm -hmm. And then we got to green beans where we get out of the garden. Sweet and you, potato pie. And you're going to take the green beans and make a cannon or something. Right. Listen, but, I'm going to just show, I'm going to do it on top of the stove because I don't have enough to use a canner, but... Um, I'm going to do them on top of the stove, and it's just easy basic. to do them like that. Yeah, basic. Basic, all right. And, um, it's, I had to get my hands injected in between my back. The rheumatology dummy gave me four needles in my hands, and I got little knots growing down in there. They're, um, they can't be removed. You just have to inject them, but four needles in my hands, it hurts so bad, and then they move it around. I'm like, oh, but it helped me. You know, you'll go through it when you want to use them without so much pain. Well, everybody. Uh, that monster just walked by you. She ain't no monster. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me show them how pretty you are. I think you're the only one that ain't on camera. Come on. Baby, come here. She's the one that chases the deer away from come here, Brenda. Baby. Pick her up. You can just wash your hands. I don't want to get her on my apron. You ain't going to get none on. You just pick it up. Well, I'm done cooking. So for her. Just pick her up. I mean. And she's so pretty. I don't like to get her fired around on stuff like that. I think, I think her daddy was a bobcat. Gosh, <laughs> oh, mighty, mercy, mercy, mercy. See, look how big and pretty I am. And see, right there's my white spot on my neck. Right there. See, I'm a mean girl. I, Mommy will hold me for a minute and I'll be fighting to get down. She's a monster. Okay, get out. Let her down. <laughs> she said, Wrong. You're not going back out, Missy. No. I, I wish I could get that on, on on the camera where she chases deer and stuff. I'm afraid one of them's going to kick her. The worst thing she chased was that skunk. Yeah, she'll. And all I've done is step out on the back stoop. She was way down there at David's, at David's garage, and she seen that skunk. It was almost dark, and I'm like, She looks up her, because I said something to David. She's like a watchdog. If you hear something coming down the driveway and them gravels are, you know, carrying on, you know, and uh, she'll uh, she'll start growling like a dog. And back there's the old vocal one. You know what would be good with this right here? That's my boy, ain't hey. it? What? Glass of milk, so I'm ready. Okay, I'll give you some milk. Okay. Let me wash my hands and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'll just do that here in a minute, and I'll tell y'all bye, and I hope you'll try this. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. And most of the stuff you have right home, so you might have to buy blueberry and zucchini, but that's all right. It don't cost that money. No, it don't cost that. I'll see y'all soon again, and y'all take care, and we're going to get back on the road here for our videos, okay? We love you guys. Please stay safe out there, and take care. We love you, and God bless you all. Bye.